Yo, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. So today, Call of Duty and Sledgehammer dropped all the information regarding Season 3 starting next week. We're going to be getting brand new DLC weapons, a ton of new maps, and a lot more content. And this new season is looking like the best Call of Duty season we've had in a very long time. Of course, man, if you guys are excited for Season 3 and all of the new content, go down below and drop a like on the video. With that being said, let's jump into it. And already, guys, on your screen is the Season three roadmap. This is honestly a lot to take in. We are getting so much content this season. Sledgehammer, I, I don't know what they're doing, but they turned up. Of course, starting out with Warzone, you guys know this. Rebirth Island is officially coming back. I am really excited about this, man. This has always been like my fan favorite map when it comes to Warzone. All the big maps like Verdansk and Caldera and, and all that stuff, it never really hit for me. Also, Warzone Ranked Play is officially going to be moving over to Resurgence or, you know, Rebirth Island. Also, Rebirth is getting their own Champions Quest, so you'll be able to do a quest line to unlock something like like we've seen before in the past and we're also gonna be getting a brand new contract the spy drones now moving on to features Battle Royale, Climb, and Punishment uh, public event going to be happening. We have a new biometric scanner, new smart displays, new field upgrade, squad raid. We also have Rebirth Island variable time of day, so it looks like different lighting or something like that. Uh, in season, the returning weapon trade station. We have specialists also coming back with in season, and a brand new kill streak, Foresight, coming in season as well. Now we're going to be moving on to Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, and we are going to be getting six new 6v6 maps in this season. This is the most maps we've seen probably ever. Checking out this roadmap and seeing six multiplayer maps coming in this season, that blows my mind. Last year with Modern Warfare 2 and Infinity Ward, they would literally give us like two or three maps per season, and we were always begging for more maps and just more content. So I don't care if you hate Sledgehammer. I don't care if you love Sledgehammer. They are doing something right. They are giving multiplayer a lot of content to look forward to. Moving on to the modes, we have Capture the Flag and One in the Chamber on launch, and then in season, we're going to be getting Minefield, which is a brand new game mode, and the return of Escort. Moving on to Zombies, it doesn't look like Zombies is getting a lot of content, but we have a new story mission coming in season, as well as a new Dark Ether Rift, we have a new Warlord, and a new Classified Schematic. Moving on to the Weapons Operators and more. For the new weapons, we're going to be getting the FJX Horus, which I believe is a brand new submachine gun. We're also going to be getting the more sniper rifle. Yes, the more sniper from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare that's going to be in the battle pass along with the new SMG and a new melee weapon, the Gladiator, which kind of looks like just like a mini knife that you put in between your hands or your knuckles. And finally, within the mid-season update, we're going to be seeing the BAL-27 from Advanced Warfare as well. I'm a little sad the BAL-27 won't be here on launch. It's only going to be here in the mid-season update. New operators include Banshee, Hush, also the return of Snoop Dogg, and of course the Battle Pass will have the Black Cell upgrade. We're also going to be getting some new perks within Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. We're also going to be getting new equipment in the mid-season update, the EMD Mine, and also a brand new field upgrade, the Enhanced Vision Goggles. And of course, along with Season 3, we're going to be getting some brand new aftermarket parts. We're also going to be having some new events as well, so I believe at launch we're going to be having Vortex V Rus Mainframe. I have no idea what that means. And then in the mid-season, we also have the Call of Duty Endowment event for the veterans. Moving on to the skins, we're also going to be having Godzilla, a brand new King Kong skin, and Shima. And then also coming 420, we have Cheech and Chong, which is very fitting. Also going to be having Godzilla x Kong Battle for Hollow Earth. I think this might be a brand new collab or event. So, so seeing another Godzilla Kong event is really exciting because the one in Vanguard was honestly really cool. And then finally, we have the Blaze Up event going along probably with 420. It's probably a weed camera. Oh man, that is the season three roadmap. So much content to look forward to, but they also released the season three blog. We have a ton more information to go over. We can now get a better look at the new multiplayer maps coming within season three. On launch, we're getting six star, which is a medium size map. The colors and everything about this map though look really, really good, but it definitely is on the medium and larger side. Apparently it's a resort that sits atop a Dubai skyscraper, which is 
is honestly insane. Also gonna be getting Emergency, which is a brand new 6v6 map. Now from this picture, it kind of looks like high rise a little bit, but it's not high rise. But overall, I love very small maps, especially in Modern Warfare 3. I feel like they've been killing it with the medium and small maps lately. Next up, we're also gonna be getting Grow House on launch as well, which is a small map. And it literally says it was first released as Sphere during season three of Call of Duty Vanguard. And to be honest with you, I know a lot of people don't like Vanguard, but this was one of the better maps in that game. So I'm kind of happy that they are bringing this back. It's a very small map, a lot of action. Overall, I'm excited. And then finally on launch, we're gonna be getting Tanked, which is another medium-sized map. It says drop into Vondel Zoo after hours in this fast-paced medium-sized map. Oh, so it's literally a part of Vondel. We are literally getting four new maps at launch. I, I don't remember the last time we did this or got this in a brand new season. And then during the mid-season, we're gonna be getting a Checkpoint, which is another small map. I'm loving these small maps, dude. It also says get a taste of Rebirth Island in multiplayer later in season three, which it looks to be literally a part of the Rebirth Island map, which is honestly kind of nice. We love Rebirth Island. I think we're all gonna be familiar with this map. And I honestly don't mind when they go into the Warzone maps and take like bits and pieces of them and make them into multiplayer maps. And then finally in the mid season, we're gonna be getting Grime, another small to medium map. We absolutely love to see that. Of course, we're gonna be getting some new ranked rewards uh, for multiplayer as well. I think you can earn some emblems, a blueprint, a weapon charm, maybe even a camo. All right, this is what I'm really excited for. We're gonna be getting some new perks and equipment during this season. We have a new perk, the Gun Slinger Vest. This is gonna be on launch and it says it's a secondary weapon specialist. So you have no primary slot, but you have two secondary slots. What? We also have another vest called the Modular Assault Rig, which is for the lethal and tactical scavenger. So it looks like you're going to be having a ton more equipment slots, tactical and lethal slots. We have another vest here, the Compression Carrier for assisted healing and gas protection. We're also going to be having new boots, the Reinforcement Boots, which is immune to movement reduction effects. Next up, we also have the High Gain Antenna, which is a new perk. The minimap is zoomed out for you and nearby allies. Oh, that's really interesting. And finally, a brand new tactical, the EMD mine coming mid-season. It's a proximity triggered mine that sticks to surfaces. Once triggered, the mine shoots out tracker devices that reveal the enemy location and direction until removed. Oh, we're also gonna be getting the brand new enhanced vision goggles during the mid-season. It says tog between normal vision and enhanced vision with integrated target highlighting. Okay. Next up, let's check out the brand new DLC weapon. So the FJX Horus, which is a brand new submachine gun, will be there at the launch. It says it's an ultra compact SMG with best in class close quarter combat damage and mobility. This is definitely gonna be very lethal at close range engagements. And it's more or less like a machine pistol SMG, which I'm kind of excited for. Next up, the more sniper. I am so excited to see this from Advanced Warfare. Also, the the new gladiator melee weapon which is going to be at launch and then finally the bow 27 coming in the mid season update it also says redacted so we'll probably have to do maybe a, a challenge or something to unlock it but the bow 27 is looking pretty good it's definitely updated so it doesn't look exactly like the same weapon from aw but it looks very similar whoa 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 whoa, whoa. hold up wait are these the models from the OG MW2? These look really deadly. And if you guys know the OG MW2, these were insanely overpowered. Okay, we have the Jack Shadow Titan for the Bruin MK9, the Jack Cutthroat for the M4 in, from MW2, and also the Jack Revenger Kit for the BP50. So the Jack Cutthroat, which will be available all during weekly challenges, is compatible with a ton of different weapons like the MCW, the M4, the AMR9. And it says that this 3D printed stock provides an unrivaled combination of speed and stability while aiming down sights. Next up, we have the Jack Revenger kit for the BP-50, and it says this kit turns the BP-50 into a CQC legend, a 9mm caliber conversion with shortened receiver and high capacity magazine. So maybe like it turns into like an SMG, I guess. Next up, the Jack Jawbreaker for the KV Broadside MW2 shotgun. It says this converts the shotgun into a hard-hitting automatic 
battle rifle? What is this? The Jack Shadow Titan for the Bruin MK9. It converts the Bruin MK9 into a compact and integrally suppressed light support weapon. Next up, we have the Jack Patriot for the M16 MW2. It says it converts the weapon into a fully automatic rifle with a heavy ported barrel built to provide superior recoil control and firing aim stability. So a fully automatic M16. Next up, we have Wardens. It's compatible with the Lockwood MK2 marksman rifle from also MW2. It says relive the glory days, stir up the hornet's nest, and take down your enemies, leaving no loose ends with these museum-worthy akimbo lever action shotguns. There's the models right there. Next up, we have the Jack Atlas kit for the AMR9 SMG. It converts the AMR9 into an extremely lethal and accurate five-round burst what? And finally, the photonic charge barrel for the Moors. And it says this hyper advanced barrel is more than simply a barrel. Holding the trigger charges the rifle and releasing fires a single high power energy projectile. They're adding energy weapons into the game. Of course, we also have Cheech and Chong coming in Modern Warfare 3. And these are some of the new bundles for the Godzilla and Kong event. These look absolutely amazing. We also have another view of some of the skins. This looks like a sloth, a dinosaur. These skins are getting outrageous, but I, this is what I love to see. Oh, this looks like a new camo we're going to be able to unlock in season three as well. Maybe for like the week eight challenge. I'm not sure. And we also have a pretty decent look at the battle pass coming in season three as well. We can't see it all, but of course, this is how it's going to look. Very basic and very similar to what we've seen in the past. Overall, guys, that is everything to do with season three of Modern Warfare 3. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of all this info. Is it looking like a W? Is it looking like an L? Let me know. From my perspective, it's looking like a lot of content and I'm very excited. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.